Hey, welcome back to my channel. I know that it's been a couple weeks. I originally told you that we were going to be meeting every Tuesday. Um, an episode will drop for you and I know it's been a couple weeks. So I decided to give you a little personal update on what's been going on. Uh, so once again, if you've got your cup of coffee, make sure you have it. This is one of my favorites. These vintage ladies, for all you ladies out there. <laughs> um, so, uh, okay, so what happened? I was going through major spiritual warfare, uh, as we all go through. So my daughters began to get sick. And typically when they get sick, it lasts, you know, a couple days, few days, and then they're over it. Well, what happened was over time, um, it, it actually, they just continued to get sick. And it was just, you know, little things here and there. So like what they would pick up from school, that kind of thing, they'd get a fever. Um, and so as a full-time mom, um, I don't like saying single because their dad is definitely in the picture and he is a great father and uh, he definitely tries to visit them whenever he can, but they are fully in my care um, in terms of during the week and the weekend, so they're always with me. And so when they would have a night, or sit, for example, if Charlie had a night and she wasn't sleeping very well, um, I wasn't either. So then the next night, say Sailor wasn't sleeping well, well, then I wasn't either. And so for you, for lack of a better word, single moms out there who understand um, taking care of your kids by yourself, it's a lot. And it's especially a lot whenever they're really sick and they have continually been sick. And so fast forward about two weeks of that, um, they got really sick. And um, it was as if, you know, nothing was given. So by the end of the two weeks, I didn't realize because a lot of times I have a hard time listening to my body and listening to where I am I didn't realize I was just extremely burnt out and I was just tired and so by the end of those two weeks uh, I thought you know we were coming to the end of it and we were all gonna you know get better and everything well I ended up getting a call an unexpected call that my cousin passed away um, I believe she was 43 so she was early 40s and um, it was definitely extremely unexpected and you know you're never prepared for something like that you're never prepared to hear uh, a family member that you love is, is just gone and she um, she has two siblings her mother and father are still living and she also has three precious children um, and so getting that call it just it shook me and it shook me to my core and it it broke me for for them and just for her children and for her parents and siblings especially and um and so I just my heart hurt and it went out and so obviously in that moment um I took time to grieve that morning and then I was trying to figure out what what do I need to do how, how do I need to get back to my hometown it's about 10 hours from where the girls and I currently live so my mom so graciously got us a flight and um, we flew to uh, our hometown and um, during the funeral and everything I ended up getting the flu uh, because once again at that point I hadn't slept in about two weeks and so I got the flu and uh, you know, we went through the funeral and all of that, and a couple days later, Sailor's stomach starts to hurt. And I was like, oh my goodness, it is just thing after thing. And so, um, I just, I, I honestly felt like I was drowning, you know? It was just like a lot happening. And maybe for some people, you know, that, that doesn't seem like a lot, like you're going through much more, you know, in life, but, for me personally, I did feel like I had come to the end of my rope. And um, when Sailor got the stomach bug, once again, shortly after, Star Charlie begins to get a fever and her stomach begins to hurt. And the next day, 
we had to fly out to come back home. Well, I broke out in hives all over my body and I know it was stress induced. Uh, I was extremely overwhelmed. Uh, there was just a lot happening back to back to back to back. And so my body just reacted from lack of sleep and just everything that was going on. Um, and so anyways, we ended up flying back to Nashville. We get here and um, lo and behold, the next day after we fly out, I get the stomach bug. And usually stomach bugs for me in the past have lasted, you know, 24 to 48 hours, sometimes 72 hours, sometimes, those, you know, the three days. But in my situation, for some reason, I just had a like constant stomach ache from Friday to, um, to yesterday, which I guess was Tuesday. Uh, and so it was just thing after thing after thing. And so you're probably wondering six minutes into this, why is she telling me <laughs> about all of this information that you know is seemingly useless and just all of her trials that she's been going through? And I wanted to A, update you for those of you that have joined the page and I wanted you to know um, I'm really committed to these episodes. I believe it's something God has placed on my heart and I want to be present. I also want to be vulnerable. I want to set the stage for you and let you know firsthand, you know, I'm not perfect. I don't have anything together, essentially. The only thing that in my life I can say I do well is that I come before God daily and I sit at his feet and I commune with him and I take time for God because I I have grasped, grasped and understood that he is my source and he is what's going to get me through these types of weeks, these types of days. And um, there's a scripture that just popped in my mind, and I want to read this for you. Let me make sure I'm giving you the right reference. So, 2 Corinthians 4.17 For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So I'm going to say that again. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. You know, thinking about my cousin passing away so unexpectedly, it can bring forth questions like, uh, I'm going to put Jeff's on. Um, it can bring forth questions like, you know, God, why did this happen? Why? Why did it happen to her? You know, why did it happen? She's so young. She has children. Um, for me, it was my first cousin to ever pass, and I honestly never even thought I would live to see that. I, I, I assumed, you know, I'm going to witness my grandparents passing, but that's kind of as far as it went for me. Um, and so you, you can come to God in situations like this of, of why, you know. And often in times of trouble and trial for me, I always go to the scripture that these troubles that I'm going through and um, whatever the adversary is trying to throw our way, it's working for something. It's doing something. And though I may not see it, though I may not understand it, it is doing something. And I have to trust and believe that God is still for me God is still for my family. God is still for my cousin who has her children still living. God is for us. And it can be very easy to question the Creator. I've done it often. Um, and I've come to Him in those questions. But we have to have confidence amidst the questioning. And I'll speak about that later in an episode about having confidence amidst, amidst the questioning. Um, and it's okay to have questions, right? It's okay to, to want to know more and want to learn more. But sometimes we may not have the answer. And in that, that's where faith steps in. That's where we have to say, God, I don't get it. I don't understand. And in my, you know, lack of understanding, just help my belief. Help my unbelief. Help me to grow in my faith in this time as opposed to take steps backwards so uh that was the the biggest thing that I wanted to share with you in this episode uh, I know that it 
necessarily doesn't go along with our topic, but just wanted to give you a short update on life and what was going on. Um, but I, I will say through the trials of this last month that the girls and I faced, um, I did still see God's hand. And I know some people could say that is so cliche. Of course she would say that, but genuinely I saw God's provision. You know, it was a random unexpected thing. My mom decided she wanted to pay for our flight. You know, that's God's provision. Uh, you know, there I can tell you many things, right? That I, even in the trouble, in the trial, it was like, okay, that had to have been God. Like God is still here. He's still with me. So I just want to encourage you, if you're walking through a trial, if the trial is why you came to this page and it has to do with your spouse or the spouse that passed away, um, the spouse that you lost in some capacity, if that is the trial, just use this video as a reminder that he is genuinely with you every step of the way. And the last piece, the last nugget I want to leave with you is, and I believe I've said this in an earlier video, and if I haven't, um, I want to definitely say it, say it for this video, but um, at the end of your rope, when you're at the end of your rope, there is more of God. So just take that with you and glean from that and just know that God is with you. There is more when you're at the end of your rope, okay? Yes, for me.